Uh, my, my name is Patrick Leiden, and I'm involved with Noor Vision uh, on two strands, litter picking, where we're working closely with tidy towns groups, and we have some of them out today, uh, and oral history. The oral history is not the history of parliaments and kings and wars, but of the, the lives of ordinary people and places, and being told by the people who are living in their own place. The oral history of the rivers is very important for creating the legacy, the human legacy attached to the rivers. And that could be farmers who've been farming land beside a stream or a brook or a, a very small river or beside the Nore itself and what their relationship was to the river. And it could be sports people, swimmers, kayakers, paddlers. It could be industry. Uh, and then of course, fishing and personal livelihoods. Not in this generation or the past generation, but two generations before, many, many people derived their living from fishing in the Noor and the catchment area. This is a holy well. This has been here since anybody knows. The Augustinian friary in the uh, background was built in the 14th century. The history of Callan can be told in this field. It's starting right here, a very small flow of water going into the Kings River, maybe less than 50 yards away. But that is the story of the catchment, that there are springs in farmers' fields that are feeding into these rivers and gradually making their way toward the Nore itself as it picks up steam and gets bigger and bigger. So the, the history of this place, the nature of that water pumping up out of the ground without stop, 12 months a year, flowing into the river. And the people of Callan have untold memories of little events that they've had here in their own life, in their children's life, in their parents' life. That's kind of an emblem of the importance of telling these stories. So this is the King's River, the Awan Ri, and one of the significant tributaries that flows into the Noor. It rises uh, near the commons uh, in the Slivarda Hills in County Tipperary, makes its way down then past Ballangarry, heading for Mullinahone, joins the Munster River, and gradually makes its way here. Uh, and this is called the King's River because the, um, the story is that King, the, the High King of Ireland, Niall Collier, was drowned in a battle just a hundred yards up there and, and fell into the river and died. So the river took his name. Another very interesting chapter of the oral history was at the origin of the river, it rises very near the mines in Ballangarry and the commons. One man described coming here as a child with his uncle having a drink a, a mineral in a pub at the river and his uncle bringing him out and saying, do you smell that river? And they could get us a sulfury smell. And that was the smell off the coal mine that had traveled 10 miles and could be got at the bridge here. Mickey, the king, clear, told that story. A thing that emerges very clearly is one of these very, very large messages of David Attenborough that people will look after what they care about, and they only care about what they know, what they've experienced. So the more people who, who come to the river, watch it, fish in it, paddle in it, or have a, a, a personal relationship to it, those are the people who are protecting it and see the value of it. That's the, the mission of the oral history, is to knit together the people who know and understand and care about the river.